Hey guys, welcome to STS, aka Shooting the Shit with BG Squiggy. Today's probably going to be a shorter episode, um, but first things first, I want to get a channel update out of the way. So this week we are finishing up Uncharted 2. Control. Friday's video, which will be the last episode, uh, is going to be a long one. Uh, I'm editing that today, so it's probably going to end up being around two hours. Uh, I just wanted to keep this series to 10 episodes, uh, to keep it a little bit uniform with the first one. Uh, so I'll probably be doing, trying to do that with 3 and 4 as well, which leads me to, uh, the next update, which is that we will be starting Uncharted 3, uh, next Monday. We also, uh, had our first upload for Destiny 2, uh, uploaded a playthrough of the Destiny 2 beta homecoming mission and you guys will probably be seeing I've got some gameplay from the Warlock class playing through that as well uh, as well as you'll be seeing some Destiny 2 gameplay behind this um, there isn't a whole lot to the Destiny 2 beta I've noticed um, we've got uh, the main mission, one strike, and two options for multiplayer maps, and that's it. Uh, so I do have some gameplay from the strike that I may or may not upload, I haven't decided yet. But that's basically where we're at. Um, not a whole lot else uh, is going on. So I guess I'm going to go ahead and jump into this week's topic. So, today's Wednesday, and... This past Sunday, uh, for those of you that don't know, uh, I'm super, super, I'm a huge movie buff, um, and I really like horror movies. Uh, well, this past Sunday, uh, we lost two, uh, two people in the movie world, the first of which, you know, the first thing I'm going to talk about, um is Martin Landau, uh, who is probably best known for winning his Oscar for his performance in Ed Wood, uh, which is a fantastic movie about a filmmaker. Uh, I recommend anybody that hasn't seen it check that out. Uh, and then he was also in uh, one of his earlier... Maybe... Uh, I don't think it was his first role, but one of his earlier roles was in North by Northwest, which is, of course, um, a movie by one of my favorite directors, Alfred Hitchcock. So that's that sucks, but what made that suck a lot, a lot more was the fact that this, this that new, the news of Marlando dying broke may like less than two hours after news of this other person dying broke uh, so the first person that died on Sunday um, was uh, George Romero uh, George Romero is a lot of people refer to him as the godfather of horror or the godfather of zombies uh, he he uh, when he was in his early 20s, he uh, he made Night of the Living Dead, which is, for a lot of people, that's the zombie movie. Like, that's the one that started it all. Um, obviously, there were things before that, like White Zombie. Um, but a lot of people look at Night, Night of the Living Dead as being responsible for making modern-day zombies what they are. Romero went on to do... Basically, any movie that says of the dead at the end of it, uh, George Romero probably had a hand in it. Uh, Dawn of the Dead, Day of the Dead, Land of the Dead, Diary of the Dead, Night, Night of the Living Dead, of course. Uh, yeah, I mean, this sucks. Um, and he wrote, too. Uh, let me just see this list of things he had a, had anything to do with. I mean, 
Monkey Shines, Crazies, uh, the original Crazies. Um, Martin is a great one. Um, Creep Show. And he was a writer on a movie that I actually really like uh, as well called um, It's Tales from the Dark Side, but it's the movie. It was like an anthology. But yeah, I mean, there's not a whole lot to talk about. I mean, it, it sucks. He's gone. Um, I personally never got the chance to meet him uh, at a convention or anything. Um, but, uh, yeah. But, like, before I was doing this YouTube thing, when I was in school, I was in it with the goal of filmmaking. And that's still very much a goal of mine. Uh, but the reason I bring that up is, like, George Romero is, like, one of the three big names that, like, made me want to do that. I mean... It's like George Romero, Alfred Hitchcock, and Stanley Kubrick. Like those are the those are the ones that made me want to make movies. It just sucks that you know. I mean, I'm still just, I'm just still sitting here looking at this long list of movies. I mean. Season of the Witch, Two Evil Eyes, Creepshow 2. Uh, oh, God. Um, there's, just, there's so much stuff. So much stuff. And I mean, and he... It's just crazy. Like, he did it all. Like, he directed, he wrote, he produced, he... And then he went, he did, uh, he did other stuff. That stuff that never ever happened like nobody else ever did One minute. like I'm sure if you're on this channel you've probably at least heard of or seen or played a Call of Duty video game and if you're into zombies does anybody remember Call of the Dead because he had something to do with that it's just like the fact that somebody as huge as George Romero I mean he was huge at the time at that time uh would be approached by somebody like, uh, like Treyarch, and they ask they they ask them, you know, or a Treyarch would ask him, "Hey, we want you to be a bad guy on a map uh, in Call of Duty Zombies," and he was like totally down with it, and. Um, it's just really really cool. I've heard n I never heard anything except amazing things about the guy and I wish I had gotten to meet him. Um but you know I'm sure that he'll go on even still to inspire plenty of people uh to get into that into that business including myself. Um But yeah. So, there's not a whole lot else I have to say this week. Uh, it's probably going to be pretty short STS this week. Uh, whether that's good or bad for you, uh, I hope you enjoyed this week's STS with VG Squiggy, and I will see you in the next one.